Hi everybody, it's Sam here and I've got another What Did I Get video. I haven't done one for quite a while actually, so I've got a few things built up and I'm hoping the magazines are still in stock. Some of these are a little bit older. First of all, I got some things from Craft Stash. So I'll show you these ones. I think that's it for the minute. So I just picked up some of the spray bottles. So Craft Stash have their own essentials range. So if you go over onto the website and you'll see um, when you click down, I think it's either brands or along the top, you'll see essentials and you'll have all of their exactly that, their essentials. I've got their uh, glue eraser, which is really handy. They've got the little embossing buddies. They've got pretty much all the, the main tools that a crafter needs they have within this essentials. But I was curious to see about their precision tipped craft tweezers because I've had lots of these over the years and I don't know, I've just never really found a pair I've completely been happy with. But these have a bit of weight to them, which is a good start because a lot of them have been quite lightweight and I think you need a bit of weight to them for them to really grip your project so let's see just how much of a precision oh yeah it's exactly what I wanted it's it's so pointy it's actually it's like it's sharper than a pokey tool but that's what I want I wanted to be able to pick up the smallest of pieces and when I'm doing my heat embossing to be able to look you can see that really does grip the very end so that's what I want. A lot of the ones I've got, they don't, they kind of slightly split open towards the end. Therefore, they don't hold things, you know, right to the edge, which is what I want. But those, and they're nice and long, so I can, how far down does it go to there? So I can keep my hand quite far away when I'm doing my heat embossing. Love them. Um, first impression is really, really good. And they do, they grip right to the very end. So I think those are going to do very well for me. So I've got a little protector there as well which is handy so I'm going to pop that straight in there so I picked up those and then the bottles I well I did have these not these ones from craft stash but these kind of spray bottles and I filled one with my homemade kind of glitter spray or um, shimmer spray and all the mica just clogged up the nozzle so lesson to me I'm not going to do that again unless anybody out there has got any bottles that they know they've made their own kind of sprays and they've not clogged up these ones I'm not going to do in them but I'm, it's just nice to have a smaller little bottle of water that I can just keep in front of me just for when I'm you know maybe cleaning some stamps or then to have the water there is just handy I've got a bigger one but again that's kind of behind me this I just wanted on my desk and I also have one filled up with my rubbing alcohol or surgical spirit because when every now and then I like to clean my table here and also just some of my tools my rulers and things like that then the rubbing alcohol works really well so I also picked up these two so I already have the Shaun the Sheep, Wallace, Gromit and the Penguin but I wanted these two but they weren't on offer when I originally brought the others so uh, someone very kindly mentioned it in one of the lives I think they were like three three pound 2.99 something like that anyway so it just completes the collection for me and I do want to do a really fun card using these two. I just love them and it's all part of that Wallace and Gromit range. So I've grabbed those. Then I've got some magazines. So again, some of these are going to be a bit older, but I'm hoping that you will still be able to get hold of them. So this is issue 92 of Creative Stamping. I don't think issue 93 is out yet. But this, uh, again, those of you that follow me and watch the What Did I Get, I do a lot of design team work for creative stamping, so I do get given this magazine for free. However, I was a, a big fan of creative stamping before and I did used to subscribe to the magazine. So if people always ask me what magazine would I recommend, this is the one. I think it's brilliant and you always get a massive A4 stamp set. First of all, this is a magazine. I was, again, elated to see one of my cards made the front cover so this was one that I designed here and also there's one of mine up here which is uh, another idea using the stamps it's all themed around sports so it's great for any of those sports fans that you have in your family they have done really well I think in incorporating you know a lot of the sports there there's not I don't think there's any water sports so it's not a water sports one but um all your land sports I guess are on there and they're just really nice images easy to color and I've created some lovely cards because this is a bit older now and a lot of people have probably got this I'll give you um, a few examples inside so I don't tend to show too much in the magazines but I will show the ones that I made because some of you'll be familiar with the card styles anyway so these ones are some of them are using the dies from my own collection. If I just hold that up a bit so it's not got the glare. So these were, my brief was to do cards for kids. So you'll see I've got my six by six wiper card here and then the wiper pops up and it says, if you believe it, you can do it. And I've used the racing car there. 
This one here was a rocker card and I made an archery board. Really like that one, that was fun to do. This is a shaker card with the ballerina and I used some tool there to make it look like her dress. So that was just like a simple shaker. Here is my six by six circle slider die set and that's the cover photo. And then I've done the slide and stand card here. This one was probably my favorite. I really liked stamping this image and then coloring it all in and I made my own kind of pattern paper, just stamping the footballs there all over. But I tell you exactly the measurements you need and the steps to make them if you are unfamiliar, but they are, most of those are on my channel as well. So yes, yeah, so that's issue 92 of Creative Stamping and you'll see there, this section here is from the For Lover Stamps and then all of this here is the Creative Stamping, but they all work really nicely together. Another magazine, and I can't believe I've taken so long to share it, is this one here and this is featuring my very first exclusive gift. So this one here is a made to surprise mini slider die set. So this will make a small note card and it's about 10 by 10 centimetres, but you can put it on a larger card. You'll just have a bigger kind of border. So here it all is, you can see you get these dies. This makes a really nice cupcake and I am gonna do a video using this. So for all the people that have purchased it, a video is coming, I promise. And then these are the dies to do it. So this is your mechanism. You've got your little pull tabs here, but also with this one, you get 90, plus digital papers and toppers and they're really nice the papers are lovely so i'll be printing them all off and i will share those when i do the video so this is issue 74 of die cutting essentials some wonderful inf um, inspiration i must confess i haven't sat down and even read through this one properly i did have a quick kind of look at my <laughs> my um kind of feature because uh you just do naturally and I will quickly whiz to it just so you can see a better idea of how the cards Nikki's done I mean there's loads of wonderful design teams um, you know members in here but Nikki she's done some wonderful ones using my gift so let me just find I think I'm right at the front yes there it is so these are the ones that I made just to give you an idea of how it all comes together showed you exactly how to do it there and I do also have an exclusive tutorial and that's linked in the magazine as well so unfortunately there was a little bit of a delay with this magazine that's why we've got a valentine's feature here because it would have come out just before but it still gives you lots of inspiration there and you can see all the different cards love this one here so you can see a close-up of that happy birthday making a lovely mother's day style and then here's the cupcake one I just love it and then you pull the tab and the surprise pops up and these are all the toppers these are the downloads and the papers and I've just done a simple style there just showing you how to kind of layer up the cupcake so that is issue 74 of die cutting essentials I also got this magazine here so I again was very fortunate to have been asked to do some of the inspiration for this and this is the very first Lisa Horton crafts magazine kit so this is number one and I'm actually going to be using the papers that you can get with this for this year's Easter series which will be starting next week. The papers in this are just wonderful and I'm going to be recreating one of the cards that I also made for this magazine within the Easter series because I think it's something that many people are going to enjoy. Really lovely papers, I'm just going to give you a quick look at those. So you get these here, it's on a um, matte finish paper. So you can see you get all these wonderful toppers and I already have some of this from when I done the sample, so I've um, got a bit more, which is nice. So I'll be able to share lots of fun projects using it. The bows that you can cut out, all these great toppers. But look at the papers, they're absolutely gorgeous. I, I thoroughly enjoy doing the samples for this one. Again, they're just, they scream spring and Easter. And um, again, and I think lots of people will enjoy this kit. See more than there, look at that, isn't it lovely? Really, really fun, love the stripes and then you get doubles again. So you get two of everything, so there's plenty there. And then I'll just give you a quick little glimpse. And again, this is very new, so I don't want to be giving too much away. I'll show you these makes here. So this is by Natalia, yeah, Natalia Smith. And just to give you an idea of what, you know how the toppers with the flowers and the papers all look together. And you get dyes as well, I'll show you that in a moment. Some really wonderful makes, so just to give you an idea of the kind of styles. My brief for the magazine was to do cards for kids, and again, those are in there, you'll see those, for those of you that already have it. And then the gift that you also get, so you get the papers in the magazine, and then you get the dies here, and they create really nice flowers. Now, they do line up with the flowers on the papers, but they look great on their own, because you can see that lovely kind of stitched detail that you get on there. So you get those. These lovely enamel dots, 
Got some beautiful colours there and you get plenty. You get your stamp set, as you can see here. So you can see these flowers here will cut with the die, but you also you know, can stamp them, fussy cut them if you want to. You get these lovely details again. I've used, I used pretty much everything on that stamp set across the cards that I had to make. And then you get the embossing folder, which is a lovely background. It's like a, a wicker basket kind of look. So again, it's gonna work brilliantly for some of the other Easter themed projects that I've got in mind for this year's series. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully this one is still available. I'll link it below for anybody that's interested. Um, sometimes they do, I don't know if this is in any offers. I know they had quite a good offer recently on magazines and that might still be running as well. Then a couple of adhesive bits. So I picked up these, a few, well, quite a while now. It's probably about two months ago because I got a lot of stuff in prep for when I had my last launch. And this, what these ones here worked particularly well with my slider cards that I've just released and they are strips of foam. Now you would have seen me again if you're regular to the channel I show you that you can cut your own strips of foam using some wax paper and your normal foam but these ones here was just for convenience really and because I was going on to the TV to obviously demo it was just you know a bit more neater to have these but you can see there they're strips of foam with the backing on there. You can get different lengths. I will pop this direct link to this length in the description box, but there's all sorts that you can get there. So they were handy from Amazon. You get quite a few, and there was probably about three more sheets that I'd already used. And then these was here, to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be this big at all, but I'm really pleased with this. And these are circle foam, um, adhesive foam circles, should I say. And I think it was must be a thousand maybe oh no sorry 2400 and these are again there's all different widths but these ones here are well, they're half an inch but they always do these in mil so these are 12 mil and you can see if I bring it up can you see all the circles so they're gr great for when you're doing your penny slider or just if you prefer to be fair sometimes the circle foam pads are much easier to remove than the square ones so loads and it was not very expensive at all i mean they're probably going to last me honestly if i just use them for like slider cards they'd last me probably forever because <laughs> there's just that many you only need one on a penny slider so i doubt i'm going to make 2400 penny sliders in my lifetime because i'll continue to use my foam squares for just normal projects there's just so many i couldn't believe it so really good i thought that was uh, again i will share the link to that one and also I will pop all the adhesive I think some of it's already on there but I pop it all on my Amazon storefront as well which is linked below this video and it's also pinned on my Facebook page as well got lots of stuff on there I also totally forgot and I totally forgot you get this stamp also with the creative stamping magazine so not only do you get the A4 but you also get this one here you can see it's all the silhouettes which makes wonderful cards, so even better. I thought I had something else as well. This was another thing that I picked up from Craft Stash and it's their pickup pencil. Again, I've not used it because I thought I would wait. So I'm gonna take this one out. I'm going to sharpen it with my sharpener. Okay, so it just, just looks like a normal pencil. Sprinkle some sequins down. You can just pick them up. So it's like a, I don't know what the actual medium is in there it's obviously some kind of low tack rubber i imagine but you can see it just makes it so much easier and then when there's glue on the other side it was obviously it's enough tack to hold it but not enough to kind of keep it there when there's an adhesive on the other side so i've had the um i had a wax dovecraft one which was lovely really liked it and it had glitter running through it but it snapped the, it was like a wax and it just kept crumbling and falling off so I got a bit frustrated with that one whereas this here is just easy so I need to make sure I don't get it mixed up with my kind of white pencils and highlighters and gels and stuff but I also got some more of the self-adhesive sticker sheets so this is just like your double-sided tape but on sheet form and you get five sheets I always like it if they do five in a pack some places sell one I just don't want one I want to have five but at a good price so I think this was from Amazon again so I'll share the links below but there's lots of places that sell this as well and I've bought it from you know in stores or from craft stash and places like that then I went to my local craft store well it's not a craft it's kind of a yeah, it's just a store that sells all sorts really it's called biology I know there's a few of them in the southwest and these were craft organza sheets and they are just strips 
kind of like rectangles of organza but I saw them and I thought I quite like the thought of doing that on my cards and kind of like I don't know maybe scrunching up pieces or making like little fans like fan shapes and all sorts I mean they've got some flowers there I need to see if I can run them through my dye machine possibly and make organza flowers I don't know if that's going to work but I could certainly cut them out or trace them but I got these are the only ones I could see I got the blue and greens there I got kind of pinks and reds greens there and then silver black and you've got the white there as well so I don't know we'll see I mean I think more than anything I would use them to kind of have as a layer or just like a an in just like an interesting decorative piece on my cards we will see but I will definitely be giving them a go I thought for 99p I know I can make some use of them so and I hadn't seen them before so I was more intrigued than anything and then another thing that got me intrigued was a recent visit to the pound shop and they have just started to stock De La Rowney products and they have these acrylic paint markers now I wouldn't for me be using them for painting although I have some canvases here which I'm going to show you in a moment I would like to use these some way in some way on my cards especially the metallic ones so I have tried them all out and they are really really nice and I'm going to show you in a moment but they also had these canvases um, I wouldn't mind doing some artwork for my home so I picked up the A3 which was two pound and then the A4 size were a pound each first time I've seen them do the stretch canvas in the pound shop and to do this art, art range as well so um, yeah more intrigue than anything but I thought for a pound you can't go wrong these are the colours that I've got now when I was there they were, this was actually all just being put out onto the shelves so I think it's only just landed in the pound shop saying that though that probably was about a week ago now from when I'm doing this video these are the colours I managed to get but that's not to say there aren't more now I did pick up two of the silver and I'm glad I did because the silver I think looks really nice so I've already loaded them so you can see all the pigment is in the nib there but when you receive them that's white and you just pump it you push it down and you'll see the colour kind of coming in but now it's literally just acrylic paint you can just see you know, how dark you get a really good kind of transfer of the paint there and again the blue and it is so opaque it's brilliant you don't have to keep going over it you can see complete coverage there again the pink I hope they do do some more so I'd like to get some more of these pink there the yellow and you just kind of push down the nib and it will load it up if you want to get it a bit thicker if you feel it's kind of thinning out at all see the yellow and then the silver it really does have a nice shine to it this is actually coming out even thicker it dries pretty quick if I let that kind of just dry can you see the shine on that yeah because they're all yeah that's dry that's a little bit wet you can see there's a little bit of it rubbed off there just a few specks the yellows again not too long I mean it is a paint and then the silver even by rubbing over that you get a nice finish but can you see the shine on it it's, got, it's just I thought for a pound you can see all the color there on my fingers so it is it is a paint it's just really nice I just like them something a bit different and um, yeah I guess they're kind of comparable to the Posca pens so I have a couple of the Posca pens here these are lovely um, much more expensive but um, this one here what color have I got here so this is a black I mean that does go down much smoother but to compare it with this one this is a little bit more of a gray black in comparison that is a lot more of a darker black probably can't really tell too much it does look a little bit more gray there but you know like I said, I'm not an expert on these kind of things. They, I liked them. They're going to work for how I want to use them. But if anybody is more of a, an artist in terms of the painting and they like their acrylic paints, then it might be worth giving them a go. I also picked these up. So it's actually another day, but these arrived before I'd edited this video. So I thought I would share these. So I first of all, well, I ordered both, but these came first. These are three mil and these are, I believe, yeah, these are five mil. And they are multicoloured flat back pearls but without the adhesive so if I bring them up as close as I can get but can you see in each one there's two tones you've got like a darker 
almost like a magenta and then like a light pink here you've got like a dark navy and a, a more lighter you've got like a green and a blue there kind of a deep orange and a yellowy orange so you can see they're all a mix and I just thought I just saw them on Amazon and I really liked the the different colors I don't have any that have this multicolor. And then I saw that they do them in different sizes, so I thought it would be quite nice to mix when I'm adding them onto my cards. It would be nice to have like maybe one larger one and then a smaller one, and also for the centres of flowers. I always kind of struggle to have a larger one for the larger flowers and then smaller ones. So I'll bring these ones up, you'll probably see the colours much better. Now do be careful when you open them, they do have a piece of foam on top, and I made the mistakes I didn't realise. When I opened these smaller ones, when I lifted off the foam, the static was terrible, and I had to, some of them kind of contaminated each other, so I had to kind of swap them out. What I found, someone did mention to me to use a tumble dryer sheet. I don't have any tumble dryer sheets, but I did rub my anti-static little buddy over the top of this before I opened it. So if you've got a tumble dryer sheet, then use that. But can you see I've already got one now that's gone over into that one. So I'll just move it back there. There's probably a couple of others as well. But just um, bear that in mind if you, you know, do get these. They, um, <laughs> they may go everywhere. Just bring them out. There we go. You can really see... So there's a colour there for pretty much every project. I'd like to see if they're going to do maybe some deeper colours. I think for Christmas time, like reds and greens and things like that, I think would be quite nice. But there's some lovely brights here for spring and stuff, so I'm really looking forward to adding them to some of my projects. And you could, with the larger ones, you could add a glue dot on the back of them. I just add a little bit of liquid glue and then stick them onto my cards. And uh, I've not had any problems because I have had these kind of non-adhesive flat back pearls before. I've actually shared my mix here this is the mirror so you can see if i put my hand you got loads and i think these were maybe not not necessarily seconds but i think they're just like the leftovers and they all just you know bundle them together as you can see they look i've got a beautiful look at that one there that's oh. <laughs> there we go you can just see it look at that gorgeous but they're all random and um but these are plain kind of you know solid colors so i go to them a lot but then when i saw these mixed ones i thought i'm going to get these now plenty there i like the little boxes they come in so it's easy to store and uh, you're ready to go so yeah i thought i'd quickly throw those into this video like i said i'll share the links in the description box below okay so that's everything as always i'll link as much as i can in the description box below and i'll be back very soon sharing some fun projects featuring some of this product thanks for watching bye